black people are dependent on and at the discretion of forces and institutions within the white society which have little interest in representing us honestly. Our experience with the national press has been that where they've managed to escape a meretricious special interest in get whitey sensationalism and race war mongering, individual reporters and commentators have been so conditioned by the developing racism of the society to the point where they are incapable even of objective observation and reporting of racial incidents, much less the analysis of ideas. But this limitation of vision and perceptions is that to create our own terms through which to define ourselves and our relationship and to have those terms recognized by the society. This is the first necessity of a free people and it is the first right that any oppressor must suspend. Now, I really believe strongly in the need to fight for the right to define oneself. The existentialist philosophers, notably Camus and Sartre, spend quite a bit of time on defining, on the need for definition. Camus states on the first page of The Rebel that when the slave stops accepting the definitions imposed upon him by his master, then and only then does he begin to move into his own sphere and create a life for himself. Now for us that's very important. I guess, uh, oh well, an example would be the red man and the cowboys in the movies or on the television screen and to see how definitions can define people. Uh, you ever watch him? The, the white man is losing the war with the red man and he sends for the cavalry and they come and they're riding very white and very proper and they blow the charge and they get down off their horses and they line up with their guns and they shoot everybody all the red men are dead and they get back on their horses and they're very white and very proper right to the fort and there's this white woman standing by the gate she says what happened and the lieutenant who's always young and dashing says we had a victory we killed all the Indians now the next time when the reverse happens, when the red man beat up all the white men and kill them, one escapes and he's hanging over his horse and he makes it to the fort and the white woman says, what happened? Those dirty Indians, they massacred us. And that's very, very important, you see, because what it means is that white society can define for Indians whether or not they have a victory. And they will never have a victory, because everyone knows in a victory, you shoot people to death with guns. In a massacre, you cut them to death. And the connotation is that a victory is much more honorable than is a massacre, as it must be. Because if we were going to die, we would rather be shot to death than stabbed to death. <laughs> Now, yeah. <laughs> I think that is the problem that the world is now rebelling against, the fact that white Western society, note I say the word society as opposed to civilization, <laughs> white Western society has defined everybody the red man has been called Indians because a stupid white man by the name of Columbus co thought he was in India. <laughs> and black people have been defined as Negroes. I guess somebody thought they were in Negro land. <laughs> <laughs> Now that also works very clearly even today and the concept of definition is very so that the need to define is precisely, precisely the fight that I think black people are now waging in the country. We will define ourselves as we see fit. We will use the terms that will gather the momentum for our movement. White America will respect them. Will respect them.